Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to do a follow-up video about the charges I did the other day. The charges that were for the Samsung Fast Adaptive. Uh, in that video I said that most of them on the eBay were crap kind of and yeah they most likely are. Um, in that case I bought five genuine Fast Adaptive chargers where all five actually didn't work properly. Uh, most of them them have already died. Some are working still, but they're getting very very hot. And as you can see here, this is inside of the shell, and it was burned out totally. It even lost a couple of components inside here, like that one there is totally crapped. Compare the outside a little bit, and this is the front. Uh, the only real difference here is actually uh, the color of uh, the symbol and the text here. If we take the back side here, you may see that the color differs as well. This is the one I bought in Sweden that is the so called genuine one, and this is the eBay one. Um, the text and all is kind of the same. We can see it is a different serial number. The one from Sweden was actually made in China, and the funny part is the one I bought from China from eBay is made in Vietnam. You can pick it up. Now we have them aside and let's do a quick comparison. I'm not an electronics guy so I don't know what components are good or bad. Uh, I don't state that I am that but at the same time I know some things that do make a board better than the other one and one instant thing I can see is the blobs here. They are really good to have because they don't make the condensators or anything vibrate and this one doesn't have it. Another thing is you can look at the brands of the uh, capacitors itself. They do look like they are the same brand. But if you look close to uh, that one there, you will see that this one is the real brand. And this one is one of the fake ones if you search on the internet. Uh, I did as well. I did myself and I did find it. Uh, another thing is the number of components and how they are structured and how the soldering are made. Um, the soldering on the SMD components here is a lot neater if you compare it to what I see here. It's hard to show you that because my camera won't pick it up. Um, but they are flimsy and if you look here, this part actually went really really hot. So the soldering on this one here, as you can see, I hope. It did melt, and that's not a good sign either. Uh, this one actually got a heat sink, uh, and that's not something that exists here. If we take a look at the, at the USB port on the real one, it's sturdy, it's solid, and everything. And if you touch on this one here, you can feel it's really, really flimsy and it just moves around. It's not really that solid. Um, I mean that would be the main things I would look at that and let's see if we can find something else this one actually have the Samsung brand marked on the board and that's generally something that you need to see if it is a genuine Samsung board it should have the Samsung brand this one doesn't there is nothing on it about who's the owner or anything nothing but this one have all the logos needed for it to be branded properly. So, I mean, by just taking that quick look, you find the Samsung brand, the capacitors itself, they are original, this one are fake, and there are blobs, the connector and everything. And I really hope you had something good out of this video, and you learned that, I mean, even though the outside looks decent and looks quite close enough, the inside may differ and as you saw there's no signs of being a Samsung inside this one between meanwhile this one have all the markings needed and have the proper components so hopefully that will give you some input and if you liked it please subscribe like and comment if you have any questions as I said in another comment that the fake one actually came in a proper casing uh, at least some proper casing, it didn't have the box and everything, but still it looks genuine, but it isn't. So.